What it is, folks? It's your boy Blood Raven with Blood Staven in the background playing GTA. Yeah. Um, yeah. When you saw last episode, we're currently in the middle of a massive battle. Um, we're getting whipped in terms of casualties just because we've got a smaller army. The we are fighting the Army of Occupation, which is under the command of George B. McClellan, and we're under General Bonham. So let's get back into it and continue the fight. I pulled my infantry regiment back because they were taking casualties, so now I'm just letting my artillery battery do a lot of heavy lifting. And we're gonna see what happens next. We have to inflict 24% plus casualties on them to get a major victory, and we have to suffer 30 30 plus percent casualties in order to get a major defeat. So, and we're getting whipped pretty hard, so there's really not much we're going to be able to do. I don't really have that much bigger of a brigade to use, and I've just got a battery and a destroyed regiment. So, we're just going to support with artillery fire and keep our men in reserve and plug a gap if we have to. Hopefully you all are doing well with this winter weather yeah. this week because it's uh, atrocious and the severe weather going on too. Hopefully you all are staying warm and safe. I know here in Louisville it's like 10 degrees. So hopefully you all do well. All are doing well and all that. The parent. It's a pair wear it. Falling leaves, 61 degrees. It's rain, so there's really no dust. Nice day for a battle, 61 degrees. Problem is, the wind would be blowing off all the rounds. Very sleepy too. Sorry about that. All right, of all these targets, who's the closest? You are lazy. You are lazy. Uh, maybe. Who is lazy nowadays? Not dude's really cold, it tastes good. Something that tastes really good that's cold is Big Red. Oh god. <sighs> Gonna be able to sleep good tonight, hopefully. God, that's a lot of casualties with that battery. Ooh, oh, there they are. Two star batteries, so they're battle experience. Uh oh, they're losing morale. Stop losing morale. You're not allowed. To oh, oh, shite. I just 25% morale. Shit, I'm gonna lose my battery. Oh way. Go! Oh, shoot! Please, morale, don't collapse until... Don't collapse at all, actually. Oh, crap. It's collapsing big time now. Keep pouring the lead into them, boys. That's all you can really do now. Oh, thank God the next day has arrived. Oh, I won't lose my battery. I'm about to 
matter there. Now we're going to do 2x. So there's not as much lag. Uh, although it won't be as fast, it'll be less lag though. Everything's going to be shifted around. Uh oh. Uh oh. I didn't expect him to be that close. Yes, you did. Don't no, lie. no, I did not. I did not expect the Union to be put on right on top of us. Yep, now I'm taking fire. I'm gonna lose my battery now. No, you won't. Yeah, I am. You'll be fine. No, it's not. Pull back. Yeah, everything's fine. Oh. Go. Oh, crap. It says you. Oh, I lost nope, I want the Bugatti. Give me your give me your Audi, Bugatti, whatever the Audi. Yeah, it's an Audi. The knockoff version of the Audi. Don't care. Well, my battery's broken. Damn it. I think my infantry switched because they're not shooting. Huh. I'm gonna pull my <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm gonna pull the battery back here. There we go. My infantry's now firing. Oh, look, we routed somebody. Assume they're using James's. Yup, that was a good guess. turned out better than I thought it was. Cool. Getting a little prestige out of this, so we're doing really well. Time being, no, we lost. We're getting ready to have a major defeat again because we're just piggybacking off of them. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Time to talk with you again. <laughs> Unless this game is willing to be nice, which I really highly doubt it will. You know, we're getting ready to hit a major defeat. Yep. Unless we can inflict 2%, we can inflict casualties quick enough. But I very doubt we think we will. We can hit them over 24, it'll be a minor. 
That's all we gotta really do. If we can just get a minor defeat, we won't get hurt. The country won't be hurt as bad. Nor will our armies. That's a lot of... Are they gonna break? Are they gonna break first? Oh, no, we routed. No! Stop with that noise! Very high-pitched and very painful in my ears. And I'm sure it's painful for the viewers, too. Painful in your earballs? Yes. No, this is on 20x. I don't know why I put it on 20x, but okay. I don't know why it's doing another day. Get on the gun, boys. Let's do it. Make what little we can make. Let's make the, what little success we can get out of this. Let's make this battery regret it. Make this battery regret ever coming towards us. Ha ha! Come as close as you wish. I can hear battle cry of freedom again. Huh? I can hear the battle cry of freedom going on in the game. Scotland! No, it's not Scotland. Oh, we've taken 42 and a half percent casualties. No, no, oh. no, no, no! God bless it, you mother... I think I know why we stopped playing GTA. No, it's not that. It's... Other issues. That's not... Well, it's Calvary. At least I'm just happy that I respawn near... The supply drop. We've taken 42.8% casualties. Jesus, Lord of mercy, and we're still on the field. We're getting close to taking 50% casualties. Oh no. Oh, oh my god. Why are we still on the field? There, God, let's go. Get the hell out of here. We lost an army. We lost 14,000 men somehow. Proud of you. I'm not. You know what? Just for one last time. Charge. Let's fight a bigger regiment than we. We have good tenacity. Let's do it. Well, who breaks first? Which one of us is going to break first? Me. Oh, we both broke. That works for me. Oh, we're still on the field. No, I don't think we're on the field anymore. No, we're completely broken. How do we have a major defeat? They're at 20. They gotta be at 25. Ignore everything I just said. That was awesome. Mm-hmm. There it is. Battle is lost. We took a massive whipping. 43.4%. Jesus. Mm -hmm. 
We did. We made 323 prestige. Such high casualties. And we lost our supporting armies. What a shame. Do you watch Mark's new um, Five Nights at Freddy's? No, I haven't had the chance yet. The VR version? Dude, it's actually really good. Genuine fear was unlocked within him a couple of times. Like, are we talking like he chokes fear or he runs away type fear? Um, I think he would want to run away if his headset wasn't holding him there. Ooh. That's how you know you got a good horror game. If it can scare Mark, then I know it's a good game. Well, Mark is... A, he he, he over-exaggerates. <gasps> Dude, okay. Wait, wait. So, I want to say something. So, you know Jacksepticeye, right? Mm-hmm. So, he took a lie detector test with his friends and all the fun stuff. They got an authentic lie detector and all this stuff to, like, mm -hmm. see if he's lying. And they asked Jack, do you like Mr. Be Beast? Jack said no. And it was truthful. And he said, the guy asked, why don't you like Mr. Beast? And Jack said, because it became more about the views and the money than it did the fun and the innovation or something like that. And it was still truthful. And like Jack kept talking and it never once detected a lie in him. He was bashing uh, Mr. Uh, Beast. Mr. Beast, thank you. And it was really funny, but scary that he was so honest. That's what I like. I like open, honest, uh, and transparent YouTubers. And Jack has my respect. Jack's all. Jack has has fully gotten my respect for that. Dude, I I was very happy. I need more companions to help me out. All right, so... Chalmers is back. That's what you get for Tigers. trying to pit maneuver a giant truck. That's your own boys. fault. That is not mine. Jesus, this, our, the Army of Potomac has taken massive losses. Each of these brigades have like two to four units in them. It's so sad. We got whipped really bad. Jesus, Lord of mercy. Do we have... Uh... Numbers yet? <gasps> Yay! That was like the girliest thing I could have ever done. 
extra gay. Oh, that's okay. I'll just make sure I do that in bed. <laughs> extra gay. <laughs> yeah, I'll get a look like it. She'll be like, what are you doing? I'm being mm -hmm. stupid. That is what I'm being. You should be proud. Yeah. You should be proud. <laughs> I'd probably be disintegrated by the time everybody realized I was missing. Man, like, if you get in relationships with doctors, nurses, and all them, cops, you better be careful because they know more ways to kill you than to have your body recovered. True that. They fear me the worst. Uh-huh. I mean, because cops know the law and they can figure out how to get around it if they're going to do it. It's kind of scary. Times. And then you got, like, nurses and doctors. They know how to kill you in ways that you won't be found. That scares me. All right, we got Whitworth for our uh, main battery. We're working on our second battery to get. I need more prestige, so we need to. Um, you know, working on administration. This is actually one of the more uh, well-rounded commanders I've ever had. Although I wish I was reliable, but at the time I made this character, I didn't know how to be reliable. But now that I do, I can start being reliable. Because at least I won't have prestige taken from me. So. I wish I could get a nickname. Because the last time I got a nickname, it was Blue Eyes. Uh -huh. I don't know what blue eye, a blue eye nickname is, but no idea. Because I tried to look it up, and it's like, oh, it's just because you have blue eyes. No, that's not why I'm looking up for a blue eye nickname. There's a reason why your men would give you blue eye nicknamed. Okay, so I'm skilled. There's the quartermaster. So we've got expert spy and glorious partisan. I want the legendary sergeant major. Dude, he's awesome. Oh god, I've gotten him once and dude, he made my army such tip top shape. It was awesome. And for those who are curious about the Whitworth, what makes it so good? So it has 2,800 yards. It has the be one of the best accuracies. And you're firing four and a half rounds a minute. That's a lot for an artillery piece in, 18, in the 1860s. A typical gun, uh, it, it really depended on the crew. Because I think there's just accounts where there are some batteries that can fire four rounds a minute. Because the crew was like in a well-oiled machine. So it kind of just depends on the crew. But in this game, most guns take two, two and a half rounds a minute. The Napoleon takes three, and then the Whitworth. The 12-pounder does t four and a half, and then I think the six-pounder does five, round, uh, five rounds a minute, four or five rounds a minute. I want the bigger one because I like bigger explosions. And then you got the three-inch Armstrong. Actually, I've never used the three inch. I may do that for this battery so I can test this one out. Uh, but the six pounder does five rounds a minute, so it's about right four or five. These are more expensive, but these don't have the range. But I'm gonna, well, that's what I'll do. I'll try this one. I'll have. I'll have, All right. I'll have Logan's battery do the Armstrongs, and then I'll keep Chalmers at the Whitworths. Because one fires more rounds a minute, and one has better range. What is the accuracy on that one, actually? I'm curious. The accuracy is excellent. And it's a three inch. And these are two and three quarter inch. Okay. 
my cat is making a mess. Lovely. Good. Not when it's for, not when I'm recording. Yep. Let's see what do we all got going on here? Can we please get six gun batteries, please? I would be so happy. Please, I beg, I beg you, please. What are we researching in policies? Okay, we're doing bounties. Alright, where is our administration at? Where is skilled? I would spend the 200 prestige to get uh, fundraising, which is 500, so I can continue the cycle of doing administration. But I'm really wanting to uh, get uh, the three inch Armstrong for my other battery, so I'm gonna save my prestige and just need like 60 prestige and then I can get them. Forty-three thousand six hundred and eighty plus Union soldiers. For ha! Oh, it's a different battle. Wait, no, that's not. Oh, yeah. Ha! That's Charlottesville. So you've got about twenty-three thousand Confederates. No, I don't. Versus forty-five thousand union soldiers no i don't Shut i don't up. know what you're talking about did they win this battle did they seriously win this battle yes. they won the battle and we couldn't yes, win i told you no you didn't i even said yes uh-huh if you did I didn't. you said did they win this battle and i said yes and then you're like no. oh, did they seriously win this battle? i was like yeah i said yes i am god i wish we were we all wish we were god let's be honest uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so all my regiments have about 900 plus men in them, which makes me feel better. I think I can have a maximum of six units, so I don't know what I'm going to add next. I'm not going to worry about replenishing. There's no point. I don't. I can't replenish my artillerymen fast enough. When did I buy your apartment? Jesus, this place sucks. Where's my actual apartment? Um, Just a reminder, he's playing GTA 5. And he's been having a blast. Oh, here's my apartment. Good God. This man's been having a blast in GTA, so... Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. We discussed recording it, but the size of each recording... I don't think I would mind recording it. But well, you have an un ah, you have an unlimited data plan. I don't. That's what's irritating. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot that I have this dumb four-wheeler, this pink hot rod four-wheeler. Oh, God. There's a lot of cars that we have. I have a Stanier, and I love it. Just your good old-fashioned Stanier. <laughs> we need supplies. Where are we going? Where are we going, Geno? Where in Richmond? Hooray! We can get resupplied. No, we're not. We're running away somewhere else. Where are we going? Will you settle the hell down so we can resupply? Can we sit in Fredericksburg so we can get supplies? We need to increase our readiness, too, so... No, you don't. I got a new companion? You have attracted the company of a... Really? I was really... Re I was trying to read that. Thanks, game. Alrighty, folks. As you can probably hear the stupid tone in the background. 
the video is over. I don't know what this new companion is because I was really wanting to read that. Let me see who he is. Oh, he, uh, he increased my cunning. What is he? Who is he? Before I log out. Slave catcher. Okay. Fugitive slaves need to be returned to their masters, and this man looks at it that it will be done. The law is the law, and any kind of radical talk about abolishing slavery is out of the question, but not all agree with his agenda, and his presence sparks unrest. So, he does cunning? Yes, he does cunning. Okay, folks, that's going to do it all for this episode. Um, we got a new companion. We're working on getting uh, some new equipment for our batteries and all that. And uh, I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye!